13th and 26th day of Weeping Series. Brianna Taylor, our Mona Lisa. There exists a story I wrote about you, Brianna, a sequence after your untimely and most ungodly death, death by tyrant hands of a employed tyrant or tyrants. We wanted to write a colorful beauty poem of you and for you because you be our Mona Lisa now. You and our many other black women gone through these uncivilized savage ways from people who's always claim to be the ones so civilized over everybody else. Brianna, you now be our Mona Lisa, they call. Matter of fact, you always have been to us from the days of weeping and lynching and raping to the unmerciful killing of you by mad, angry police. The universe now elevates your place, your high place to the Mona Lisa from ages past. Now to the story. The setting was a time around 1957, 58 in third grade at South Highland School and a picture of a strange fat jaw woman that we knew not there upon getting the nerve as children to ask our dear beautiful teacher who the person be in the picture. Mona Lisa, she explained, known as the most beautiful woman in the world. At that moment, this little third grader in me just lost it, raising my hand utterances of truth flowed from my insides. Teacher Crawford, not possible, said I. My mama, my aunts, and five sisters all look better. And Miss Crawford, you too more beautiful than this picture, this lady. How can this be? Even then, we carving out a rightful place toward us, our Brianna and others who died at the hands of inhumane no names because the smile you left us make us bow to your enduring essence encoded among smiles of other endearing black queens gone forth in similar uncanny incidents as yours. We weep, we moan, even before this these days, along the times we realize they played with distorted stories of our true Mona Lisa's. We took up on ourselves to name and rename, beginning before beyond with Nefertiti, not knowing then that you would sit in her seat amongst the most beautiful, refined women from us in the world. Unbeknownst to me, while in Europe three times, never desiring to venture into that place called the Louvre to behold this painting of an untruth tale painted by the same brush reminder of his false blue-eyed picture of Jesus Leonardo I'm talking about where no white folk dwell at the time 
in our Israel, Egypt land. So in your stead, even before you went from us, me searching out many of the museums and strimes of actual black Madonnas and childs, even there before Christ, charting a tour around other museums over Europe with stolen African artifacts upon reparation judgments, the universe would create a give back acknowledgement role. Queen Nefertiti from Isis to Nefertiti to your divine essence, our Mona Lisa's coming home to represent a triumphant rest. Then March 2020, on the 13th day, you, Brianna, acquired the status of a divine African ancestral queen, the renowned, most beautiful woman in the world, martyred so senseless and brutally, your life taken from us unfinished forever. You became our most beautiful, radiant smile, a face inward divinity before us. After weeping for many days, I sat and began a poem from Isis and beyond to Nefertiti and Zynga, Queen Candace beholding Brianna on the 13th day of weeping. Brianna Taylor, who reached martyr status on this eventful sad day, arrayed in your divine beauty from birth, yet here with us only a little while. Your beauty, Brianna, was the beauty I saw in the third grade. We as children defending your place then, the place of all black women on this sojourn, you and the Natasha's and the Michelle's and the Dominique's and the Riyadh's were and still be our sovereign essence. Without you all, there shines no buttons on endless cul-de-sacs.